Hey everyone, welcome to this quick Lego Garden tutorial where we are going to show you how to disable and then re-enable your character's movement within your game. So this will be really useful if you're making a handcuff system, for example, where you need your character uh, to stop moving while they're arrested, um, you know, while you open a, a UI to set the jail time, for example. Uh, so I've gone ahead and created a, a quick example here for you guys. So in this example, my movement will be disabled for five seconds, and then it will be re-enabled after that five seconds. So no matter what, no matter what button I click for the first five seconds, nothing will work, and then everything will start working again after five seconds. All right, so first let's see how we can go about doing this. So in Studio, um, if we test our project, um, so we can come up here to our Explorer menu and we can open up our players and come to our player. Uh, so in this case, it's Captain Lettuce because that is my username, but in your case, it will be whatever your, your username is. And then if we open that up, we will see that we have a player scripts folder. So we will open that up. And as we can see, we have a player module um, in here. And if we open that up, we will see that we have a control module. Now this control module is what we are going to be using um, to disable all the input on our character. Now, if we open up our player module, we will see that we have a function here uh, called get controls, and that will return um, the control module, uh, which will be which we will be using. So, um, so what we are going to do is we are going to require the player module, and then we're going to call the get controls function right here, and then we are going to use that to disable our player movement. Now, if we open our uh, our control module, we can find the function that we're going to use, and it is called disable. So right here is the function that we're going to use to disable our movement. And we also have an, an enable function here that we can use as well if we want to enable our, our character. So let's get out of the testing and let's get scripting. So let's create a new local script in our starter character scripts. And so we can remove our print, we don't need that. So first we need to access our local character so we can get the player scripts. So to do that, we need to import our player service. And then we can create a variable here for our local player. And now we need to access our uh, player scripts. And as we can remember, that was inside of our player. So we can just wait for that to be created. And now we can access our player module, which was within our uh, player scripts. So player scripts, oops. And then we can wait for our player module to exist. Now, because we want to access a function within this module, we actually have to wrap this, um, this code here in something called a require. So, Make sure you have a, a parenthesis before and after. And in the front, we are going to write require. And that will allow us to access the different functions within this module. Um, so the very first thing that we want to access, as we discussed, is we want to get the controls. So we can do that with player module get controls. And now that we have the controls, all we have to do is call the controls disable function that we looked at earlier. And now if we were to test this code out, Our character cannot move, we cannot jump, and our, our movement is completely um, disabled. Now, if we want to re-enable that, um, so let's say after two seconds, we want to enable. If we were to test this out now, so for the first two seconds, we won't be able to move. Well, I guess I, I didn't make the, the wait long enough there because it happened before I loaded in. So let me, let me just change that to five seconds. And so now, so I can't move, but after five seconds, now I can. So that's how you can, how you can disable and enable. So for example, say we had a handcuff system and we had a function like arrest player. Um, now I'm not gonna actually show you how to make a handcuff system in this video, this is just an example, but say 
um, we had a function here for arresting the player and another function for releasing the player. Uh, we would want to add our controls enabled here and controls disable here. So now if we were to call the arrest player function like that, our controls would be disabled. So I hope that's useful for you guys. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel if you want more short tutorials like this. Um, hop on over to our Discord server if you need help with your code or you'd like to suggest videos. And you can download the links uh, to the assets in our description. I'll see you guys in the next video.